What's up, everybody? This is Abed here, and welcome back to a season two of Abed 60513's interview season two. So, last season, season one, then went pretty well. So, uh, yeah. But for season two, I think why not? It's the time to you know shine up and you know just make things a lot better. So, uh, yeah. So anyways, I got um, two special guests, which are Nick and Ryan. So how y'all doing? Good. Okay, guys. What are you guys out here? I'm going to explain why I'm here. And yes, first an interview of us as we explain our stories. And yeah. Alright. Alright, so um, I have my... Notepad for my questions in my Discord. So it has 11, no, not 11, 9? Yeah, 9. Okay. Um, so yeah, starting off would be, um, epi not episode 1, um, sorry. <laughs> um, number 1 for my questions, and I said, for Nick, what have you inspired to make Five Nights at Clones Nick's Ultimate Chaos? I'm just bad developing, and, uh, and, um, yeah, the friend helped me out, and it became popular, but it hasn't been, uh, released yet. Okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, like, I know there's, like, I know people inspired though to do, um, to make um FNAF fan games like for example um there's a lot of stuff like that you can make with I mean it's not easy to make FNAF fan games it's hard to make FNAF fan games because um like um the next thing you said like there's you have to have um something that's created um you know like a story so, um, basically, like, so, so what I'm trying to say is that, um, basically you have to, like, you know, make the characters design to make them good in a way. You know, not to make them, you know, bad or anything. So, uh, yeah. So there's some games out there that I found that pretty amazing, like, when I found these three Final Thomas is dehydrated, um, stuff like that goes on list, um, and yeah, it's really fun how to see those fan, FNAF fan games grow up a little better, like, it really does, so, yeah. Whoa. Okay, so, um, number two is for both of you, and I said, how did the two of you create your nicknames? Great story. What about you, Ryan? Huh? Oh. Wait, what is it? What are we talking about? 
I said, um, how did the two of you create your nickname? Oh. Oh, uh, well. For wrestling, I used to be really big. I mean, literally changed my nickname. The Lion. Yeah, the Lion. But, now, I'm back to, now, now, now I'm in the place where I'm lying again. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's a proud of being with, with me and Nick on Yeah, we are pretty good place. Good place. So, yeah. All right. Good. All right. So, um, number three, I said to Nick, um, what have you voice acted some characters like, for example, SpongeBob, Mario, and Sonic? Alright. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay, so, um, sorry about that. Okay, number four is I said to both of you, what TV shows do you watch and think is so nostalgia? History. If y'all don't know what that is, it's like a, a um, video, um, video game, uh, yeah, um, horror kind of thing. And that's where video game characters get psychopathic, and then all these mysteries and all of that, and they try to stop them, and they find clues. Yeah, that's basically it. Alright. What about you, Ryan? Well, I probably watch, uh, you know, Spongebob. Uh, well, I remember Spongebob Squarepants. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's my favorite show in the whole, you know, whole world. So yeah, that's all right. Okay, so um, number five is for both of you again, and I said, "What did he do?" Um, okay, I cannot speak today. What did he done in your home after when COVID nineteen started and school got locked down? Since I was at home, I turned on my TV, and, and then I saw the news, and, and they said COVID just, what, what, um, COVID just broke out. I told my mom, <laughs> and then um, we talked about it, and she said, just stay in your room, and we'll get it ready, we'll try to figure something out. Mm hmm. All right. What about you, Ryan? Oh, well, some reason. I barely, I barely, wait, what's the question again? All right, so I say again, Um, what do you done to your home after when COVID-19 started and school got locked down? Well, well, I barely relaxed. I 
again. I want, I can see that food, but barely watch the TV. Again. But also, yeah. I'm currently sitting down doing nothing, just sit there watching TV. Uh, yeah. Like, tw like 2020, um, is like, I know it's a bad year for many people, like, because of how people think of how bad it is. Like, to me, I think, like, 2020 was the best year, because, um, I mean, yeah, sure, COVID, I, I could just ignore COVID and just, you know, yeah. Um, but my content for that was just, was pretty mediocre at best, so, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Also, can you like turn out your um turn off your volume? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah uh, please. Oh. Okay. Sorry for that. Um, number six. What games do you play besides FNAF for both of you? War games, uh, yeah, like um, Psycho No Sokovia. I mean, blah, 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 blah. no, no, Psycho No Sokovia. It's like an anime horror game, like um, where where an anime killer will kill you and all that. So, yeah. All right. But yeah, Psycho War Games. Okay. All right. What about you, Ryan? Well, oh yeah, I play the previous FNF Roblox, the one I like, Final Fantasy. So yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite game. Is yeah, you know Final Fantasy on Roblox, right? So basically, a little bit, you have the same off. Just like a, a, just like <laughs> the other financial comics, you know, the customized. All right. Okay, so um, uh, all right, so um, uh, number seven, what FNAF fan games do you think is your favorite and why for both of you? What? <laughs> Saying is, yes, uh, Fight Sonic's Manic Mania it is the best in Fight Sonic War Game Jam that, um, in Fight Sonic Game. Oh, and, um, also, Sin Thermal Sewers, the best in Free Roam FNAF War Game fan game. So, yeah. Alright, what about you, Ryan? My favorite horror game is my favorite. My favorite horror. My favorite. <laughs> no, horror not FNAF. Not horror. Not no horror. FNAF. I mean, my favorite FNAF horror game is called uh, Anime Hell. So yeah. Wait, say it again. My favorite FNAF game, Anime is Hell. Oh, okay. I I I didn't I didn't listen to what you said, but. Yeah. So yeah. Then also yeah, there's a the music box. You know that pic pixels. You know the she's a music box. And also she do she do like a Kirby music box. Mm -hmm. I hardly remember that. Well. Well, guys, that, uh, that's actually the, uh, it's, uh, actually the same music box music. You know, mm. and that. So, yeah, that's the, 
<laughs> All right, so we're done with my questions on my notepad. So um, here are my Discord. So I got um, you know, let's start with start with the first question called software cracker maybe. You said so. What video do you think it's the best? For my YouTube channel, it's uh, Cracking Dad vs. Clone Saga. He has uh, the most likes and views. Somebody has a question. And Clone Saga, he, like, um, he was my favorite Hot Dog character in uh, Fox Comics. All right. All right. So um, the second one is from Dim Lights A Four. So he asked both of you, "What is your favorite music?" Oh, yeah, my favorite. Oh, you said what's your favorite music? Yeah, I said what? Yeah, I said um, no, I didn't say that. Um, they he said um, what is your favorite music? Bit gaming music like that. So, so gaming. All right. What about you, Ryan? My favorite music. My my favorite music is "You Can't Run, You Can't Hide." All right. You know. Yeah, I really like that song. It's, it's a 10 out of 10. Cool. Good for you. Alright, so my favorite music um had to be, um like, it's a hard question. So it's going to be like Sonic Forces Fist, Fist Bump or Sonic Adventure 2 Live and Learn. Like, um, I actually really think Live and Learn was the best um Sonic song after all. But, um, Fist Bump was the best one, because of the lyrics, by the way. The lyrics are so good, so, yeah. And, yeah, fun fact, um, I was, like, using my, um, catchphrase, catchphrase for that song called, um, it's, like, the part of the Fist Bump, so, like it says, um, one more last fist bump like that so um you know i used i used to like you know a different one which is called you know super fist and then just you know and that's how it all starts so uh yeah one of my favorite catchphrases for for long okay so the next up is from phil tree and he said um what is your favorite Sonic game character or a music track or a song? So, um, I'll split those three together. So for a Sonic game, um, for, um, for both of you, um, what is your favorite Sonic game? My favorite Sonic game is Sonic Utopia. Cause yes, why not? It's the best game. Okay, uh, fan game. Alright, what about you, Ryan? My favorite, uh, my favorite game is Sonic Mania. So yeah, it's basically, it, it basically is the same selection game, just like Flash and Mario 4. So yeah, that's one of my favorite games of all time. Alright.
Yeah, uh, my favorite Sonic game has to be like, you know, top three, so... Number three will be Sonic Forces. Um, I know people started, you know, hate me for this and said, Oh, Abed, why did you put Sonic Forces on number three? What is there... Why do you like this game? Okay, I know, but chill out, okay? There's no need, there's no reason to panic. Like, my god. Um, so anyways, um, I like Sonic Forces because, um, because how great a game it is, and the story is just, it's just well done. Like, the characters were just approved a lot, but not for one of them. Because, you know, you see, Tails has been absolutely butchered in this in this um story and he said he doesn't fight chaos but he fights chaos 4 and sonic adventure dx but i don't know why would tails even been a coward to do this but um you know he's a hero in sonic adventure dx so why can't they change him to be more a hero to fight chaos zero that would be a lot interesting so yeah Number two, um, goes to, um, Sonic Adventure DX. One of the most, one of my favorite games, the most nostalgia that tackles out more than Sonic Adventure 2. Um, the reason why I think it's better than Sonic Adventure 2 is because of how, um, good it was. Like, the story just fits so much better. Like, the six stories were just fit. Until you get, you know, Super Sonic for being all six stories. So, uh, yeah. I know it's gonna be a lot harder, so... Yeah. Like, I know, um, Gamma Story was one of my favorites. The reason why I think it's my favorite is because, um, how Gamma acts like an emotional robot. Like, I know he's very depressed of all. And this theme was very catchy, not gonna lie, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, you went to Gamma, one of my favorite characters, and the ending was so sad, um, that ending was, was really a memorable ending right here. I mean, right there, sorry. Uh, yeah. A Gamma, may always rest in peace. So yeah, and as for that Sonic story, um, Sonic story was pretty good. It was amazing. Like, I know some people say it was a long story, so yeah. I know I didn't know like why Sonic had the longest story than Tails, Knuckles, and Amy was. Like Sonic first, like Sonic, like Sonic has the long story, so. It really kick it off with um, ten stages and five boss battles and yeah, this really is um, a great one to start off. But like, even if you're like you know getting stressed out that after um, stage nine, eight, or you know seven, like there's like a lot there's stages that are not that easy and they can get a little harder. So yeah. So that's why they're not, they're not easy, so, yeah. And for number one.
Oh yeah, also I'm saying um okay so for the number one um best game or the best Sonic game would be hands down um Sonic Mania. One of the best games to ever um ever um Uh, I don't know. Um, a, a final um, second Sonic game. I mean, it's not a final second Sonic game. A final 2D second Sonic game. Uh, yeah. Like, I really love the animations, the music, the visuals, the graphics. Um, it has amazing. It has more. And the animations. The animations for Sonic was just pure gold. For Tails, it was just... Um, Amazing for Knuckles. It was um for Knuckles. It was just the best So uh, yeah And for the um, plus um the plus edition they added um two characters called um Mighty Mighty and Ray so yeah Those two characters that are pretty good so yeah And as for that, um, favorite Sonic character goes to Ryan. Yep. That's my favorite character. Yeah. Wait, what do you say? Yep, that's my favorite character. No, I, I didn't hear what you said, but say that again. Yep, that's my favorite character. <laughs> No, like, um, I, I didn't say what you hear what you said, like, what your favorite character was, but can you, like, say that again? Oh, yeah. He, okay, oh, yeah. He do, he was saying that, oh, yeah, that, that's my favorite character. He was saying that this game is heck, it's full and I'm out of here. All right. So, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, he was the best hedgehog, so, he just be hedgehog, cause he love to, uh, oh, so he do diff different kind of, like, a uh, super sonic, so yeah. Interesting. Best. Okay, so the, the last one will be, um, what is your favorite Sonic song? Goes to Nick. Okay, so my, uh, favorite Sonic song is, uh, Infinite Game. From, uh, Sonic Forces. It's the dopest and the coolest song. Yeah. I like Fist Bump a lot. I enjoy it. Like, I enjoy Fist Bump from Sonic Forces. Like, the lyrics are pretty amazing. And uh, the song was just pretty skyrocketed. So, yeah. Okay, the next one is Ghost for Eco Jr. He said, What is your favorite horror game that you play on your YouTube channel? Oh, also, hang on. Um, Ryan, turn on your uh, turn off your volume, please. Wait, hang on. Oh. All right. So that's what I'm saying. Um, um, I said, um, what is your favorite horror game that you play in your YouTube channel? All right. All right. What about you, Ryan? Oh. Oh yeah. What's 
I said, uh, what is your favorite horror game that you play on your YouTube channel? Oh, my favorite horror game. Oh, this is probably a scary game. It is the, it is, uh, the man. Yeah, that's the robot. It is the man. It is, it basically has a dog tail on it, too. Alright. Okay, so um, the next one is from Isia Bell Bottom. What is your favorite food? Both of you. Pizza and cookies. All about me. Pizza and cookies. So. Okay, Ryan. My fa my favorite food is is cheeseburger and sandwich. Also, gorilla. Oh boy. Okay, as for my um, favorite food, um, you know, it's a hard one. Like, um, I actually really prefer um, sushi or spinach. Like, and I have to say, like, sushi is uh, my favorite, but, um, hey, who doesn't like um, sushi, am I right? I don't like it, no. Oh, oh you don't like it? Yeah, like, um, that would be, if it, if it will be, like, you know, better if, um, if there's, like, a bowl with fries, with spinach on top, and then there's, like, next to it, there's, like, a napkin with three or four or five packs of sushi, and, um, a, and a Coke, just, you know, rinse, rinse it all off, so, uh, yeah. I want to, you know, get that, by the way, so, no calories. Um, for Joshua, what is your favorite drink? Let's see. I would say milk, and then, uh, juice, water, and soda. All right. Ryan? Yes. I said, what is your favorite drink? All right. Yeah, uh, my favorite drink um has to be water. It's it's really a boring to say this, but um, you know, like you have to stay hydrated. And um, what's that line from Astro? What he said? Oh yeah. Stay determined. So yeah. Next question is from Fear Gyres, and as and he said, um, what is your favorite game of all time? Bowser with Bottom, Rehydrated, and yes, Super Mario, and uh, Super Mario Ultimate. Alright. Okay, Ryan, do you have a favorite game? Oh, yeah, my favorite game is Blast of the Zombies. Oh, yeah, me too. That game was just so nostalgia. Also, my favorite game is, uh, yeah, my favorite game is the, the Blind Eye. I can't play it. So, and also, my favorite game is definitely Super Mario 64. 
All right. Yeah, um, I got I got three favorite games or top three, which I didn't make. I don't make this long, so uh, uh number three would be Wonderland. Um, in case of you, in case of you, in case the two you don't do know what it is, um, yeah. Uh, number two is Riddle School. Um, not a an OG, not an OG game. But very, um, very classic from 2016. So, uh, yeah. The characters I really love. One character I really think is better is Felic Tree. But not to mention he is not as egghead as he was. So, uh, yeah. And number one goes to, um, Chicken Invaders. One of my nostalgia games out there. If there is, like, one... Chicken Bear's favorite game that I will like, um, and that'd be, um, Chicken Bear's 2, The Next Wave. So, yeah. Next up is from GG64, and he said, do you like Sonic or Mario? I mean, Mario. Mario. Wow. Yes. Hey Ryan. Yes. I said, do you like Sonic or Mario? Mario, because I play a Mario scene. I still like Sonic, but I I play a Sonic player, Sonic OC. So yeah. I like Sonic uh, more than Mario. Like Sonic is better than Mario it's because Sonic can run fast at um I don't know how many miles that will take to Sonic to get faster, but um you know like you know just I know that's what um the catchphrase the cast the catchphrase from Jack Sethikai will say um speed is key. So uh yeah. And like I really like um how Sonic Sonic could go speed, but sometimes you do it differently. You know, sometimes you could like you know go to a you know Warhog and then um you know like um yeah that was the coolest thing um ever. So yeah, I like how I like how Sega you know try new things about. It, so uh, yeah. And the last one is from Wooly Dog Games, and he said, "What is your favorite movie or show?" So the first one would be um, favorite movie. So both of you. Fine, go for it. Wait, what are you saying? I said Brian go for it. All right. Well, my favorite movie is, uh, my favorite movie is, uh, The Smurf. Cause, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, uh, oh, yeah, my favorite show is Avenger Time. Yeah, that's my, that's my, that's my show, Avenger Time. Cool. Yeah. Uh, my favorite movie, um, it's it's my favorite movie is Iron the Iron Giant. I'm my number one. Like the reason why I think it's an amazing, amazing movie is because um of the Iron Giant being like the Iron Giant is like an amazing movie. Like because of the two D animations, not the two D animations, the three D animations. Um, yeah. And the second one it goes to um, Thomas Friend, The Adventure Begins. Um, really did well, season one remastered. Hands down, one of the best Thomas and Friends movies ever. So yeah. And the last one, it, and he said, what is your favorite show? Let's see, my favorite, let's see. First of all, my favorite movie, the, let's see, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and uh, 
Uh, no, I said, what is your favorite TV show? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. My favorite TV show is SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, yeah, I'm his favorite fan. Okay, Ryan, what is your favorite show? Oh, my favorite show is Avengers. Um, so, All right. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite show, Adventure Time. Yeah, my favorite TV show, um, you know, I have a lot of stuff. Um, it's, um, Thomas and Friends, SpongeBob SquarePants, Sonic X, Dragon Ball Z, Kai, Pokemon, Digimon, and Transformers. So, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that's it um, for this um, for this wrap up for season two, episode one. So, uh, do you guys have any questions before I head out? Nope. Well, oh well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Make sure, make sure to, make sure to subscribe to me on my YouTube account. There's Boy Rondi Hedgehog. And also. Shout out to your real song. <laughs> and then OG Dog Love Team. <laughs> 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 Alright, so um yeah, um I'll see you guys um next time in the episode two, which will be Christopher Games. Um he is the the best creator of Finance of Dipsy Recorded in Find us a Tubbyland video, rec video recorded. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll. Anyways, take care. Um, yeah. See ya, everybody.